terrorist attacks in Europe have raised concern about safety among European citizens, and the majority wants the European Union to do more to fight terrorism. It has become clear that common threats require a common response. How can we better protect our borders and prevent new attacks? How can technology enhance our security? The European Union remains one of the safest places in the world, but terrorism has disrupted the paradigm of its security. Man zieht natürlich aus jedem Anschlag Konsequenzen. Man verstärkt die Sicherheitsapparate, man stattet sie technisch besser aus und man hat auch Überlegungen angestellt, die verschiedenen Sicherheitsbehörden noch besser miteinander zu verzahnen, die Koordination zu verbessern. Aber wichtig ist natürlich die Prävention, dass man rechtzeitig erkennt potenzielle Täter, dass man sie sichert, unter Kontrolle hat. Ich glaube, das ist das Entscheidende. Und fremadrettet ist es deshalb auch gerne, dass wir besser zu teilen Informationen Information mit den Mitgliedstaaten. La sécurité est l'affaire de tous, c'est par une meilleure coopération de l'ensemble des acteurs tant européens que nationaux que nous pourrons agir efficacement contre les menaces actuelles. Whether helping to prevent or solve crime, Europol supports member states in their fight against terrorism, cybercrime or organized crime. Since May 2017, the European Law Enforcement Agency can more easily set up specialized units and exchange information with private companies, like asking Facebook to remove pages operated by the Islamic State. A landmark case for Europol, but for Europe, unfortunately, was actually Paris to the Bataclan attacks. This was when Europe realized that the terrorism threat is not singular. But it also changed that in not even two months here, yeah, Europol got an additional center, the European Counterterrorism Center, which now works together with the member states. We have a new Verordnung, a new Verordnung for Europol, die mehr Europa im Bereich der Strafverfolgung, im Bereich der Polizeiarbeit schafft. Das ist ein wichtiger Schritt. Como Europol reforçada, estamos a cumprir com a nossa parte ao nível europeu. Agora é dos Estados Membros que se espera mais, mais cooperação, mais partilha de informações, mais uso dos instrumentos que têm ao seu dispor. Train stations, metro lines and airports have been targeted by terrorists, a direct attack on the freedom of movement. In March 2016, terrorism hit Brussels International Airport, highlighting the need to find new processes, new measures to ensure people's security. There is also new technology, automatic border control, the biometrics, and we have the PNR. The PNR is a passenger name record, which will be an obligation amongst Europe, so that our airlines have to share information in a certain database with the government on who is traveling. We müssen auf europäischer Ebene einen besseren Datenaustausch pflegen, Erfahrung besser austauschen und noch besser miteinander koordiniert vorgehen, kooperieren und wir müssen im Ergebnis auch die Außengrenzen besser schützen. And the introduction of systematic checks at the EU's external borders is a tool that can contribute to dealing with the increase in foreign terrorist fighters. This approach can only work if there is access to reliable data in EU database. Grâce au système entrée sortie, muni de portiques automatiques, nous espérons et ce sera sans doute le cas, réduire les temps d'attente lors des contrôles aux frontières, renforcer la qualité de ces contrôles en détectant plus facilement les fraudes documentaires et les fraudes à l'identité. Exchange of information on people crossing the European Union's external borders, staying in the European Union or applying for asylum needs to be rapid and efficient. But the current system for collecting, processing and sharing of data is too complex and fragmented. The European Union has already a lot of databases. Yeah? Our problem is just now yeah, that very often these databases can't speak with each other. Yeah? What we need is to combine this data yeah, so that uh, European Union officials, law enforcement has the possibility yeah, to have the same data set and they can look into it. Aujourd'hui, plus que jamais, nous devons être, nous devons agir, nous devons réagir à la hauteur de nos responsabilités et de la confiance que nous ont donné les citoyens européens.
Europe is the world leader when it comes to social protection. The EU has set global standards for fighting poverty, well-being, family cohesion and work-life balance. How welfare systems are run is left up to individual member states, but the European Parliament calls for higher standards. One example of this is the families package. We call for a paternity leave directive. We say it is essential and urgent. We ask member states to extend the period of parental leave. What really sets EU countries apart from non-EU countries is the buffer of time offered to the working parents. At least four months of parental leave during the eight first years of a child's life. Dario lives in Italy and works in the public administration of Rome. He is allowed to take 30 days of parental leave, spread over a longer period. We decided to become genitori insieme, and di conseguenza, crescere i figli è anche una occasione di farlo insieme. Con l'occasione di più giorni a disposizione, non solo il weekend, ad esempio, per stare con loro, il rapporto con, con questi rimane eh, abbastanza costante. Non c'è solo ci vediamo la mattina, ci vediamo la sera tardi quando magari torno. However, only 10% of fathers in the EU take parental leave. Many are afraid of losing part of their salary or the job itself, and some prefer to leave parental care to mothers. Nous préconisons que ce congé parental ne puisse pas être transférable ou à tout le moins qu'il puisse être transférable dans les limites euh, du possible, dans, dans, dans ce qui ne renforce pas les rôles traditionnels. The promotion of social welfare and the respecting of equality between men and women are enshrined as fundamental values in the EU and the Parliament warns against reversing progress that has been made. Si cogemos la brecha salarial, Estamos en el 16,2, que es prácticamente el mismo nivel que el que teníamos en el 2012. No hemos prácticamente avanzado. Estonia has the highest gender pay gap, 10% more than the EU average. But the situation has improved after accession to the EU. The European context is definitely important. Uh, this is uh, the reason, uh, big part of the reason why Estonia adopted in 2004 the law of gender equality. More than 64 million women are at risk of poverty in the EU. 48% are single parents, like Trine. She works as an assistant in the health sector, in which the gender pay gap is very high in Estonia. Like any other EU country, the gender pay gap is mainly due to the segregation of the labour market into jobs traditionally done by men or women. To achieve equal pay for equal work is a top opportunity for priority for women empowerment. A lack of progress is frankly frustrating. Gender pay gap is a challenge throughout Europe in all kinds of jobs. The European Social Fund is trying to promote equality and fight poverty. The European Union has made the commitment to lift at least 20 million people out of poverty by 2020. The Fund for European Aid to the Most Deprived has been given a budget of more than 3.5 billion euros. In Belgium, this fund finances the distribution of about 7,000 tons of different products to almost 150,000 people in need. Twice a week, Jean-Charles comes to this food bank in Brussels in order to pick up ingredients that he will use for cooking in a charity restaurant, Nativitas, in the center of the city. Dans les personnes âgées que nous avons, évidemment, il y a ceux qui n'ont presque pas de pension, qui ont une petite pension de survie et qui euh, viennent ici parce que euh, ils savent pas nouer les deux bouts. In Belgium, like in many other countries, 16% of the elderly population are at risk of poverty. Avec ma petite pension que j'ai, je ne pourrais presque pas me permettre d'aller euh, louer un appartement chez un privé. Car avec cette pension-là, il euh, faut que je paye mon loyer, euh, les charges, euh, il faut manger. Alors, euh, bon, heureusement que je peux venir manger en Antivitas à un bas prix. Quoi. Improving social rights in everyday life is at the heart of the agenda of the European Parliament in the coming years. What really matters is the commitment to deliver on better standards 
better social standards for our century. The European Parliament has enjoyed recent success regarding the protection of consumers, especially in the digital realm. The end of roaming and the Wi-Fi for EU initiative are major steps towards a functioning digital single market. Since June 2017, roaming charges have been abolished in the European Union. Now, MEPs want to make it more affordable for citizens to call around the EU from their home country. The first goal of the telecom reform is to improve access to networks across the EU, including making 5G connections available to all citizens and businesses. Everyone today is aware uh, of the need of, 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 of these very high capacity uh, networks uh, so connectivity for that reason it is uh, one of the main main objectives of this new regulation hey are you at the apartment now yes i am good can i come now yeah okay see you in a minute when using any form of electronic communication, such as email, WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, Big Brother might be watching you for commercial purposes. The Parliament sets high standards of privacy, confidentiality and security. E-privacy regulation does not ban all forms of advertising. It only addresses the issues of surveillance-driven advertisement and wants consumers give a choice whether they want to be tracked or not for commercial purposes. In a digital world, it's hard to know if a trader will actually provide the service you paid for. Therefore, the European Parliament has approved the first ever EU-wide laws to protect shoppers faced with faulty digital content or services. If a problem cannot be fixed, the price must be reduced or the contract ended and the consumer refunded. This is the basic idea behind the directive being discussed at the Parliament. Dass wenn es ein Problem gibt mit einem Download, dass dann die Verbraucher und Verbraucherinnen auf jeden Fall ihre Rechte haben. Another issue is online content portability. Users can now enjoy their online movie, TV, sports or music subscriptions when traveling abroad in the EU. But MEPs also stress the importance of territorial licenses. Copyright law reform is high on the European Parliament's agenda. The principle de, du maintien du droit d'auteur est, est sanctifié et souligné par ce texte, mais nous introduisons une liberté nouvelle qui est tout à fait importante, c'est celle de bénéficier temporairement des services que l'on a dans le pays d'origine. Ah, come and look, I found some concert tickets. Really? Show me. Where is it? Ah, it's in Barcelona. Should we go? Yeah, definitely. Consumers must not be discriminated against on the basis of their nationality or where they live. The European Parliament wants consumers to have equal access to goods, hotel bookings, car rentals or concert tickets across borders. And bye. We're going in a concert. Ale dziś możemy powiedzieć, że idziemy po sukces. Koniec odmową sprzedaży przy zakupie towarów lub usług online z powodu miejsca zamieszkania lub narodowości klienta. The European Union can deliver concrete results for the citizens all over Europe, bringing positive changes in our daily lives. From cross-border parcel delivery to online sales of goods, there are a number of issues related to the implementation of a functioning digital single market. But the European Parliament keeps fighting the good fight to make it a reality.